Hello guys, welcome to another video of Carolina EDC Reviews. And today, as you see in the title, yes, we're looking at another holster, but this one's gonna be from the guys at 1791, and it's a leather holster. Now this is gonna be the optic ready holster, uh, so it will accept any, uh, you know, concealed firearms that use the uh, optic on it already. And this is gonna be a multi-fit uh, type of holster. So it's gonna fit uh, certain firearms, and we're gonna go through it right here, right now. So just a quick look at it. Again, as you can see, it's a leather holster. It comes pre-molded for uh, multiple firearms. You got the logo right here, 1791. Great quality holster, real stiff. Uh, it is going to take some, uh, you know, time to, uh, you know, get it broken and everything. Uh, the, you know, the belt loops are very tight and everything. As you can see, it's pre-molded already and ready to put on. Uh, depending on what kind of belt you use, uh, if you have a thick belt, it is gonna be a little bit tighter. Again, the more you use it, the more it's gonna break in. Now, this one, uh, again, is uh, optic ready multi holster Now, it's gonna fit certain firearms uh, from Glock 17 all the way to 33, uh, Ruger SR9, the Smith & Wesson Shield, uh, MMP40, MMP40 Compact, and MPP90 M9, uh, you know, size. Uh, also, it's going to take a Springfield XDS, Walter, uh, P90, PPQ, other like CC75, HNK, 40C, VP9, Beretta, 92 Compact, and so on. So check their website. Make sure to find the right one that's going to fit your firearm. Uh, it's going to be uh, reinforced stitching and sure quality security or lifetime enjoyment. So it's got nice stitching on it, as you can see front and back all the way through. Very nice leather. A uh, very thick leather uh they do have a lifetime warranty commitment to all the products so any issues make sure to contact they'll take care of you uh each uh holster is uh designed to provide excellent retention so it has uh retention through the uh, uh trigger guard fine i'm assuming but um all holsters are handcraft certified 100 uh leather um you know it's just great quality holster so they come in this little nice big <laughs> plastic um you know packaging what do you want to call so yeah so check those guys out again they did send this whole to try out and everything but the good the thing about this one here like i said it's going to be a very um it's going to take time to break it in of course now the one thing that i found out about this host of this uh depending again which farm you have you don't have time to break in it's going to scratch it on the inside a little bit because just the nature of the beast being a leather holster now, we're gonna try it out and we're gonna talk about it more. I'm gonna grab a couple of my firearms and test it out in here just to see what I have available in my hands to see what fit it's in here. And then we're gonna step up here and try it and shoot. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we got the holster on again. This is outside the waistband leather holster from 1791. Again, thanks to those guys for sending the holster for review. Just like any holster review I do, I like to show you how it works as far as drawing it. Again, it's nothing to do with the firearm and everything. Just make sure it functions the way it's supposed to. Uh, drawing it, see how easy it is to draw from it and holster back on. Uh, again, make sure to always test your holsters or any equipment that you uh, consider that is towards concealment uh, or dependence on your life or anything like that. Make sure to test those out. Test it out before you start using it out in the, out in the world <laughs> and make sure it functions the way it's supposed to. So, Again, we're not going for accuracy or anything. I just want to make sure that I can draw this holster. Again, I've been drawing it uh, here and there lately because, again, with holster, you have to break them in. It does have a break point, so take that in consideration. If you get a holster like this, you have to break them in. Uh, again, this holster has been broken in too much, so, again, we might have some uh, issues drawing it because it's a tight uh, fit, again, and holster again. But... It does conceal real well, as you can see. I'm wearing a shirt over, just a button-up shirt over my T-shirt. And again, this is how mostly I dress out in the summer, unless I'm vacationing somewhere and I just have a regular T-shirt, whatever, or around the house. But as you can see, uh, you can carry this holster very nicely. It hugs your body real well because of the contour of it, already pre-molded on the bell loops and everything. Uh, it snugs right close to your body. Um, as far as drawing the weapon, as you can see, it does have a little bit of can towards the front, which I like. Uh, most people like that kind of style of can or the one straight up. I like it this way because I can uh, get a good purchase and draw that weapon nicely, as you can see. All right, so we got around in here and we'll be shooting 
uh, some ball ammunition here, and again, some uh, um, some other ammunition that I have from the guys at. Um, make sure I get this name right. <laughs> outdoor dynamics here in north carolina which was nice enough to send me a couple rounds of different type of ammunition these are remanufactured 147 grain nine millimeter round nose as you can see here it's got the poly um, projectile on it so this is a good thing to have uh if you want to you know keep from where you're barrel and stuff like that great for uh, a lot of competition and everything like that so uh we're going to start with just regular ball ammunition then we're going to switch to this one again we're just gonna do a single draw, nothing fast quickly. Again, the holster is tight still, just to give you a heads up. Uh, it is gonna be a little bit hard to draw at times. So, as you can see, you have to tug on it a little bit. All right, holstering. Make sure, finger off the trigger. It is tight, guys, but it does cover the trigger real well. Again, that's gonna be a snug fit. The more you use this holster again it's going to wear now depending on which firearm if it uh any of those that i mentioned at the beginning again depending some trigger guards can be rough edge square some of them can be round so it makes it a lot easier to holster which the shield has the round trigger guard again and it's you know take some time to uh you know get this holster to break in all right so let's see uh again clear the garment draw fire okay finger off the trigger i always like to kind of move my body a little bit at an angle kind of keep the firearm pointing in that direction just in case any discharge the round is going to go off my body away from my body at least try to get away from my body so uh, make sure to train again all right so clear the garment, get a good purchase here. Finger ready and fire. All right. I'm gonna try the outdoor dynamics remanufactured ammo again. Let's holster up. And again, the holster feels good. I like it, it's comfortable. Uh, Contours my body real well. Again, that's what I like about leather. So some of the Kydex holster, uh, it's just molded and it's hard. It can be uncomfortable unless you have something like uh, you know a duty type holster that's not close to your body. But for concealment, I always like leather outside the waist. Uh, it does have great retention with this one. Again, after a while, it does wear, but take that consideration. You have to break them in again. All right, so. Clear the garment, holster, fire, all right? Again, the more I use it, the more I use it, again, it's gonna make it a lot smoother and it's gonna break in. Um, again, clear your garment. See how hard that was to pull. Get a good jank. doing that but hey the ammo works just fine all right so as far as again holstering very easy you have to push in a little bit hard to get it in there make sure you cover the trigger guard again the more you draw it the more it's gonna wear again very easy to put on again through loop once you start wearing it, again that's gonna wear out and it's gonna be a lot uh, you know contrary to your body all right so yeah that's pretty much it again there's nobody here with me so i can pull the firearm safe direction i'm in the middle of nowhere so again when i holster i can my body just a little bit <laughs> just to be on the safe side and then just you know holster your weapon safely guys again um train 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 make sure to use your gear make sure it works for you it works for the firearm and everything else make sure that it covers the trigger guard Again, it's all come to preference, what you like, Codex. If you want that clicker retention, you know, that's fine and dandy as well. But, you know, holster is just as good because uh, in the summertime, it's a lot comfortable, uh, especially, you know, if you live in a place that's very humid, you want to protect your firearm as well for keeping for rusting 
or anything like that which you know you're gonna sweat a lot it's got a nice high sweat guard that covers all the way to the top of the back of the firearm right here which is very nice and you got that little can which i really like and it gives you a great uh purchase on the weapon it's not in the way or nothing uh i get a good grip on it and just on host of that firearm safely all right guys that's pretty much it let's step out to my vehicle give you my final opinion the pros and cons of a holster like this and everything else so stay tuned hi right, guys you see the uh 1791 holster here the multi-fit with ready optic which i didn't show here I me mean, shooting because again with this mmp ah <laughs> the mmp here that i have full size is um very tight fit again one thing i want to mention is again with the pros it's going to be molded real well again uh it's going to be comfortable durable uh protects the firearm and it's just all around comfortable and the thing about this one is not like in many holster leather holster they have out there they're not ready uh, optic ready for your firearm so that's a good thing to have uh it's not going to be light very compatible so that's the only uh thing about thing about it, so i say that's a con uh but other than that ready optic is going to work for you again uh if you do have a compact it may fit a little better but take in consideration that uh, it's going to be a tight fit as you can see it does have the opening on the bottom so if you have a thread barrel it's going to protrude right there through it uh, again it's going to be you know uh shape for the optic ready like i was mentioning and with the multiple firearms you can fit uh it's gonna work so if you have a high suppressor sight it's gonna catch in there it's gonna have to uh cut a groove in there after a while and uh make it fit in there most kind of you know reasonable in there but as far as getting the trigger cover and everything you either um a lot of people leave the firearms in here with some uh, wax paper and they just uh, get it wet and you know try to get it shape in there but uh, my opinion the more you use it the more it's gonna wear it out make that groove in there just draw and holster just draw and holster it's gonna break it in now with the shield again the one I was using one shield is the the standard shield 1.0 everybody calls it now works just fine um, if you have a red dot again it's gonna be enough room and if you have a thread barrel you're gonna have enough room to protrude the firearm all right so in my opinion I think it's a great holster again it does take time to break it in that's the only con uh, as far as it goes and if you have high suppressor it's gonna kind of cut a groove in there or catch into it you just gotta keep again break it in that's the, that's the bad thing about holster like this that's the only bad thing about holsters is breaking them in try to get your firearm to work in there but they make it such tight tolerance so they make sure they have a good retention as far as it goes so all right guys i think that's enough i have to say about this holster again uh thank you to 1791 for sending the holster for me to check it out i uh, really like it it's gonna be a great candidate for mmp shield or anything smaller on that nature again um, this is the opta ready 2.1 multi-fit belt holster from 1791 as you can see right there it gives you a little options or options of what firearms will fit in there all right guys that's pretty much it that's all i have as usual thank you for watching uh thank you all the new subscribers for watching this and you're not subscribed make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe follow me on all social medias uh go to my all social medias and follow me there as well because a lot more to come if you're not following me on instagram you're missing out on a lot of giveaways which i uh, always have one at least a month and you're missing out if you're not following me over there so guys that's pretty much it thank you to 1791 again for sending a holster and more to come stay tuned have a good one